another episode of The Coden 5. Now, before I actually go on, my husband got me a new cup. And it's a witch. It glows in the dark. So, you'll be seeing this a, a, in a lot of videos for now on. Unless I'm out, unless I'm out of soda, then you'll be seeing this again. Anyways, we're on the one thing. Here's the N. Again, we're not star hunting just yet. a lot later on.
from the other. A, the stars are harder to get. But, minus that fact. Uh, it's more of ball. I mean, yeah, there's backtracking, but it's not as bad as you think. Because, uh, unlike four, with a boat, we're on land. Plus, as soon as we get Vicky, uh, it gets a lot easier. upper deck, but... No need to yell, I'm not that old. The royal family tomboy, is it? Tomboy? Raja, is that how you greet your old friends? That was a compliment. And who's the handsome young lad you've got with you? Ah, uh, his royal highness the prince. That cute little kid I knew is this big already? That means this young lady must be Leon, the queen's knight's apprentice. And you must be the famous George Prime. The one His Majesty Farad brought back with him. It's hard to tell now, but this old woman was once a commander of the Royal Navy. She helped fight off the Aiden's army when they invaded eight years ago. She's a natural hero. Her nation. Girl. What, you mean this is the famous... Whatever, Rajay? Well, that was a long time ago. These days. Those days, I was just an old lady trying to live. Oh, these days, I'm just an old lady trying to live a quiet life on the river. Oh yeah, let me introduce you. This lady is my second in command. How do you do? My name is... Whatever. It's nice to meet you. And for reasons that escaped me, she's also the wife of that idiot hiding over there. <laughs> you can kind of tell from the, uh, the daughter. She has the same thingy on her head that her mom has. Looks like those two caused more trouble. Huh? Tell me what they did this time. I see. That's a serious offense. No question about it. Log. Well, dear, you see, um, why do you, why can't you think just once? Your, whatever schemes get us all into trouble. You gotta forgive me. Blue is all holy and stuff, so I figured we gotta loot all the treasure. I can't talk like him, okay? I'm sorry.
no one else would have thought of it because it's a terrible idea. Uh, I'm sorry, Mom. I tried to stop him, but when he said it to me, I kind of got to say it too. Well, that's too bad. You're old enough to know to know better. Yes, Mom. You can just place them as much as you like in the back. You have our permission. Thank you. Oh God, I feel sorry for the wife or the husband. Come with me. You too, Lynn. Suck it up, Pop. We brought this on ourselves. True. I'm sorry about all of this. And I'm sorry you, you went you went through all this trouble just to keep the matter between us. It's all the fault of those two blockheads. Don't have anything to be sorry for. Which I do apologize if my uh my speech development kicks in. That's why I don't like reading out to you guys so much. And there's only a little bit of voice acting in this game. Not a lot. I wish there was more, but there's not. I think uh three had the most voice acting. I actually didn't have to talk through three that much. That's not entirely true. I'm the one who gave him the order to gather gold. Of course, I didn't think they would take could take gold dust from the Holy Land. How can you need gold all of a sudden? There's been a lot of demand from the nobles for raw gold. It went, it sent the market price through the roof. The nobles want gold? They must be trying to hire mercenaries. Seems likely. Mercenaries prefer raw gold over gold coins. The fair faction desperate. They've been trying to scrape up mercenaries ever since the Sacred Game. By fair means or foul. I don't know what they have in mind, but you don't gather mercenaries for a nice silver or whatever the C word is. Chat. But I'm sure Her Majesty, the Queen, and His Majesty Square have been aware of this for some time. It's not something you guys have to worry about. So cheer up, or chit up. Since you came all the way here, you should at least look around quickly if you're not in any hurry. It's not the whatever place in the world, but there's people, and I doubt you. And look, I think people just do that. And those two left the party. I should be crying any second now. <laughs> Time. 
But we're basically done here, so let's just move on with the story. back here anyways. Silver time today, your majesty. I'll 
I'll go make myself comfortable in the guard room for now. Oh, uh, George, by the way, come visit me later. There's something this evening I would like to do. Sometime this evening will be fine. Got it. Alright, let's go see our mother. And then our sister. Oh, welcome home. Isn't Leon with you? I see. She wanted to give us some time alone, did she? Come on. Come a little closer. So you made friends with not only Hazwar, but Raja too, did you? What did you think? They're nice people, aren't they? Getting the support of those two will prove to be very helpful to you someday, I'm sure. And that day might not be very far away, I'm afraid. Gazelle is coming the day after tomorrow. I want you to know we're not just waiting around without any plan. We're taking every measure we can. We're certainly not going to let Godwin have everything his way. I wanted to tell you at least that much. Now go back to your room and get some rest, okay? You've grown so much. Pretty soon, you'll be taller than I am. A great big man like your father, Farid. I've really been blessed with wonderful children, both you and Lim. I want you both to know how truly proud I am to have you. And that's her being a true mom. I mean, she has her, uh... Huh? Your face is all red. She's as long as a bear to him. Leave alone. Well, I guess it's none of my business, then. Oh, there's a lot of comics that actually uh, pair the prince with his bodyguard. Not 100% sure why, but eh, it is what it is. Oh, I think Kimmy, I think she actually has a room up here. But, I'm not sure where. Play your back. No. The plea. I wish I could have gone with you. Maybe one day, sister. Because I'm pretty sure there's more bedrooms. So Kimmy's room would be on this side if she actually accepted the Queen's request. Or yeah, I guess it's called the quest. Queen actually allows something big to happen. Uh, when Play's asleep, the Queen will send someone to pick up Kimmy, or will send Kimmy a message saying Play's back, and she will get permission to go into his room, not to do anything perverticness, 
but she will actually attack him in his bed. Basically hugs and such. Nothing too perverted. It's just something her and Flay have together. I heard the prince. So, is that, is that why you invited me to think, to ask me about that? I can't say it wasn't part of the reason. If that time ever comes, I'll do it myself if I have to. No matter how hard it would be. But for whatever reason I can't, someone else will have to do it. We must prepare for everything. Or for anything. So you want me to be your backup plan, is that it? Yes. You're the only one I can truly trust completely. I hate this. I do too. I wonder how they know each other. Because I don't think it tells me, uh... Georgia's name. To find out where he is or where he's from. Well, he's unknown. He's in 5, 2, and G1. Which I, I'm not playing the garden games. Uh, he joins automatically at some point. I don't know. But he's a traveling, uh, swordsman. Oh! By the way, there's a a star character that we're gonna get later called Bridget. No, her name's not Bridget. It's Bar something. Is it Bar? No, it's not. Yeah, it's Bridge something. She's a star we get when we go to the uh when we uh Something has to do with the island nations. Because, uh, the prince, that's his princess, uh, aunt. She is the prince's aunt, and they don't know it. Because, uh, none of them know that, uh, the king is her brother. But yeah, George is just a traveler. We don't know where he's from. These faces. Oh, Dancy. Lady, whatever. Your little sister get going 
the way, can you? Whatever we're gonna do with you. Look, I know it's tough, but you have to try and act a little more cheerful. Otherwise, people might get suspicious. That goes for you too, Leon. But, lady. Here, take a look at this. Someday, you two will have to learn to be as tactful as he is. I guess their father. Now, quit with wallflowers. Now, quit the wallflowers. Wallflowers, whatever. I'll hang out with you. So come on. Yeah, talk to our new brother-in-law. Greeting, Your Highness. It's been far too long. First, allow me to apologize for the absence of my father. He would love to attend, but I requested that he stayed home. Frankly, I find it a little too embarrassing if I was talking about my father at this age. Oh, let's go and play. Have you had enough? But this day's all about Lynn. She must be getting tired now, too. We should call it a night. Now this is where hell breaks Gazelle. out. Gazelle, evening, sir. Is the banquet over already, sir? Yes. It's the princess's bedtime, you see. A little while ago, an attendant came by and brought us some of the banquet food. It was quite delicious. Thank you. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Getting sleepy. <clears throat> Gazelle, sir. Please wait aboard the ship, sir. We'll come see you when it's over. Very well. The scholars have arrived. I want you to take them to the sealed room right away. Yes, I know. That man in red. Something about his manner disturbs me. I want him watched. I'll put someone on him. You can rest assured. Fine. Do that. I think Gazelle, I'm... sir. What about Lady Silides? Worried about the lady, are we? How sentimental of you. You have your orders. Just do as instructed. Yes, sir. I think the guy in red was a star. I don't think he's actually evil. But I could be wrong. I was wrong about the assassin. Aha! Caught you. We knew you guys would put Dark Arcanum in the banquet food. And that's why we all took an antidote beforehand. We've got you all now. Don't even try to make any excuses. Godwin didn't see this coming, I bet. <laughs> what did you say? The reason we used that drug was so we wouldn't have to sacrifice so many of you. Now there's only going to be more unnecessary bloodshed. Give up! You have no chance! Is that so?
that. He was as he's tough as a demon. I wonder if he's a member of. Who are you? Answer me. Damn, poison. It looks like he took the easy way out. Coming. First thing, get the ant in the back, y'all. In the back. Shit, she can't go in the back. No, I want the double arm one. Too late? He only has one wound. A fatal one. We're not dealing with any amateurs here. <laughs> I'd say that fellow was a little too weak, that's all. Uh, Kildrick! Well, well. Hello there. I'm glad to see you've saved us the trouble of coming to get you. But why are you... <sighs> I get it now. You never were a gladiator in the first place, were you? <laughs> Very perceptive of you. Back off! Now I see. You're the reason our Dark Arcanum didn't work, aren't you? Huh? Who are you? Don't you remember me? I guess I really shouldn't be surprised. We were just little kids back then. But I remember you, Mismar. <sighs> Mikavut! No, that's impossible. So you do remember me then? <laughs> this just keeps getting better and better. Imagine that, a Queen's Knight's apprentice, His Royal Highness's bodyguard, one of our old friends. Leon, what are these guys talking about? Prince! Lady Sialit! Hurry! Huh? Run! <laughs> Not so fast.
Here we go! Prince. I don't think we're supposed to uh, win this one. Yeah, we're not supposed to win this one. Not, you cannot win, so don't waste a lot of resources on staying alive. Oops. Such a shame. Your talents used to whatever used to be more mine. Knight, your fighting style is all whatever it forms. It's basically like dancing in a real fight. Seems like one thing that matters in battle, the killing. Such a waste of time. Kyle! So guy! The water room can do that. Say dust. Sorry, it took us so long. Never mind that. What's the situation? It's not good. Enemy is unnaturally strong. Much more powerful than our guards. Our defense has been shattered. I might not be been able to make it here myself if I had it. God help from him. Where the hell? Where the hell did God win? Why soldiers like me? They're they're nether gate members. I'm positive of it. What what? But my sister just disbanded them. I think no, I know. Lord Godwin secretly took them over. No. That can't be true. The other gate killed God or uh, whatever's mother. The wife. They've been neutral enemies ever since. So you're saying Godwin had never gate on his side for eight years? Yes. I am. I'm sorry this is, uh... Actually, we're at a point where I can actually stop. So with that said, leave me a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll continue this on in the next video. Bye-bye!